much. This is for the devotion today. I would like to share a thought on thinking with God. This is how we, we live our Christian life, right? We think with God and uh, we understand what God's thought on this particular con content or a context or a situation is. And uh, that's how we live every day. What is doctrine? We, we go to the Bible college. We learn doctrines. We learn categorical doctrines. We store it in the rooms of a soul. It is basically the precise mind of God about the particular content, about the particular topic, about the particular situation. What does God think about it? That's what. That's what. That's why we go to Bible college. Now, to think with God, we need to know first know God. Now, how do we know God? By God's word. Now, this is this is like the mind of God printed as a paper and put it in our hands. Now, uh, have you ever been in the situation? Have you ever gone to a hotel or a restaurant, um, and you 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 always wanted to eat something that is in your mind? But you don't know the name of it, or rather, you don't know whether it is available or not. You just keep ordering only one dish always because you like that dish that is good in that hotel, and you keep eating it. And um, and you meet somebody who, who had ate the dish that you want to eat, the same hotel, and he says, "I had something else." He said, "Wow, I wanted to have this. I didn't know that was available there." I did happen happen to you? Um, it had happened to me a lot of times. It is because we never go through the menu. One thing is a language barrier because I come from South. I, I don't know Hindi and a lot of menus here are written in Hindi and I always see the menu and I don't understand it. So I order only what I, what I know. And uh, that's, how, that's how we land up something sometimes like we, we, we see we don't understand it or rather we don't see it. So we have a manual here. We have a menu which has varieties of options. And I'm connecting with the food because of the potluck that is coming up this week. So we have varieties of options, and uh, we we know what what is available, and then we when we enjoy it, we think about it, and we think with God in that manner. So when we when we th when we know what is there in this, we we apply it, we we know it in a more personal way. For example, in Psalm 119, 165, the verse says, "Those who love the law, they shall have great peace; nothing shall offend them." Now this verse. I love the law, which doesn't. I I love the law. Even I go to church every day. For example, I go to Bible college. I do fellowship. I do everything. I'm there. I'm, I'm always there with the body members and with the pastors. So does it mean that that is enough for me to have a great peace? I don't think so. It is that thing. The word is speaking much more deeper. I have a love for the word, so I embrace it. I I believe it, and I apply it in my life. What I hear, I believe it. I, Hebrews 4 2, I apply it in my life. And when I apply it, as a result, that brings great peace. And uh, that makes nothing to offend me. Because I understand, well, like like this verse in first, first, first second Corinthians, this says that we wrestle not against the flesh and blood. Now, a brother did something against me. Now, I know that verse, I believe it. And I apply it in my life. If anything come against me, I don't get offended because it is not the brother. You know. So this is the, this this is how the, the 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 thing works. So I know something and I apply it, and and a, a by as a byproduct, the blessing comes to us. So it's not just less loving. It is it is it is much beyond that. So when I think with God, I understand this. I I really enjoy the fruit of a Christian life. We think with somebody who has eternal security, who is unmovable, unshakable, and who cannot be uh, even uncomprehensible. We can't comprehend God, right? But God says, I have given you the mind of Christ. You and me have the mind of Christ today. And uh, isn't it amazing that we can think the way that God thinks? And uh, God has placed us in the heavenly heavenly seat in uh, Colossians chapter 3 1. And uh, he says in uh, 1 John that as he is, so we are. 1 John 4 17. I, I love that verse, as he is, so we are. So he positionally we have been done. But to know what do we have in a position, we need to know what is what is written here, what he is saying for us. So know the word, enjoy the word, and um, that's how we do Bible college, right? You you come to class, you enjoy, you, you learn the way in a very systematic way because it's all given year, there, year, there. Isaiah 28, 11. Uh, there a little, year a little, that's how we learn it. And uh, our classes helps us for that. And the, the fellowship that we do, the rapture we do, everything that's around us that helps us for that. So we learn and we understand the mind of God and we think with God further. And uh, just a quick example how God thinks. 
I would like to bring it to this verse, Philippians 4.8. Uh, the verse says, for, for whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, and whatsoever things are just, pure, lovely, good reports, and of any, that there be any virtue, that there be any praise and things of these things. This is how God thinks. And uh, we, we know how God thinks now. Now, how do we do it? With that, with God only. We, we can't think with God without God himself. Uh, I like this verse. In, I learned it in the Bible college in my first year when I joined it. Um, Pastor Devendra taught me this. It says the verse is locative and source on the locative. I am in God and I do it through God. I mean in God because of God himself. I think with God through God. Otherwise, I can't think with God. The spirit that is in me helps me to think with God through the word. So that's First Corinthians 2. Amen. Have a good day. Uh, enjoy your day and think with God today.